be kind to your her <laughs> it's not gonna happen i'm gonna i'm gonna pop on the wig okay you need to take care of your hair welcome and welcome back okay so i'm gonna do like a mini miniature miniature uh <laughs> natural hair journey um i say miniature mini because i didn't take a lot of pictures in like high school and the ones that i did i lost so i am going to show you the pictures that i can find and talk a little bit about my natural hair journey okay so i've been natural my entire life hold on i'm skipping steps i'm skipping steps okay i was born right born i was bald i was bald i was bald um my mom said that i was bald until i was about three years old i started off in this world with minimal hair i guess when i turned three my hair was just like and it was just like all over the place so yeah i had a lot of hair um when i was younger my mom did my hair and she would do a lot of different styles and stuff like that and just try a whole bunch of stuff my auntie would just like hot comb my hair sometimes don't i never ever ever want to hot comb my hair again i remember i had a graduation i think it was from preschool and my mom straightened my hair and by the time we got to the graduation my hair was all over the place so my mom like stopped doing my hair around the end of elementary school beginning of middle school and i had no idea what to do with my hair because my mom always did it and so i would just i was blow drying my hair pretty much every day so i could put it into a ponytail and have this huge puff like it got to the point where my mom was like you need to stop blow drying your hair like don't do that you can't blow dry your hair every day blah 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 and i'm like i don't know what else to do with my hair so i'm about to blow dry it every day and then it got to the point where my mom had to start hiding the blow dryer but i knew where it was so i would just like go get it blow dry my hair in the morning and then put it back in the hidden spot i don't know if she knows that but yeah that's what i did at high school now um i remember like the first year i want to say I started to like straighten my hair a lot and I remember that I remember the flat iron that I got it was this Conair Infinity Pro like a whole bunch of people were talking about it on YouTube I got it put it on 415 and straightened my hair and I think I did that about like every week or two weeks during like my ninth grade year silly bitch but i'd say like through the middle of ninth grade i stopped doing that and i just started wearing my wear my hair in a bun and that's the way i wore my hair for like the next i want to say four years because i didn't start wearing my hair curly until like freshman sophomore year of college i didn't know anything about hair so i didn't know my hair was heat damage i just knew it looked different so now i'm on youtube and i'm starting to follow more like natural people because it wasn't that many like one of the first people I ever found was hair, um, Chine, hair crush, and I started to learn more about natural hair. And then I realized that my hair was damaged, and it was damaged really bad. Like, there was a lot of parts that didn't even curl up anymore. It was just string, 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 string. And that, like, at the time on YouTube, it was, like, a huge thing for Big Chop, like, Big chop this and big chop that and big chop this and big chop so that. I decided I was going to cut my hair. And I want to say I did that in like 11th grade. I cut my hair. I cut off all the heat damage. Or well, most of it because honestly, probably all of my hair was heat damaged at the time. But it was really noticeable on the ends because they just wouldn't curl up at all. So I cut my hair. But like I said, I had been wearing buns like... I was wearing a bun every day and the length I cut it at I was still able to put it in a bun so no one no one knew I cut my hair unless I told them so it wasn't a big deal for me because I was wearing my hair in a bun and I was able to still put my hair in a bun it was a smaller bun but like people didn't notice that so I was good I was chilling I straightened my hair for my junior pictures and I inserted some pictures somewhere on the screen and then 
I didn't straighten my hair again until graduation. So that was in June of 2014. And that has been the last time I've straightened my hair. And that's because both those times, um, the lady who straightened my hair used a lot of heat. And she kind of made my hair, the heat damage, not worse, but no, a lot more noticeable in some spots. Like, okay, so the next big, like, hair moment, I decided to get a diva cut, okay? And uh, Diva Curl wasn't big at it wasn't big at the time yet. Like Diva Curl, like everyone knows what Diva Curl is. Back when I was getting this Diva Cut, Diva Curl wasn't as popular, and they didn't have Diva Cut specialists everywhere. They had them in a few states, and there was a Diva Cut specialist. And I say that with these things on purpose. In Miami, and it wasn't even far. So I got my hair cut by this deep cut specialist. And y'all, let's start with the fact that this haircut was expensive. This lady had my hair lopsided. And, and on top of that, she gave me bangs that I did not ask for. So I paid the lady. I was so upset that like I was just quiet. Like I got in the car and I called my mother and I was like, I was crying. I was like, I hate this haircut. It was expensive. She doesn't know what she's doing. Yada yada yada. Like I was going in. So my hair was here for a while, like noticeably here. Now it's kind of still the same, but it's not as noticeable because I've trimmed it since. But, yeah, and so when I first started wearing my hair out and doing like wash and goes, um, my hair was super frizzy, not defined. I didn't know what I was doing. I was using products that girls who had a completely different hair texture than me was recommending. Like, I didn't know anything about my hair. I didn't know anything about hair, specifically my hair. I didn't know anything about products. I didn't know anything about anything, okay? So... I've been natural all my life and I'm just not getting the hang of it so kudos to any of y'all that have decided to go natural and you are doing it because you know like learning your hair is hard especially when there's just so many things to try and so many people telling you try this try that try that like it's a lot because I didn't know what I was doing I didn't know what I was doing okay and I, I, I had this hair all my life all my life I had but I'm going to insert some clips and some pictures of like the way my hair looks now because I've, I, I've come a long way, okay? I've come a long way. And I just hope this inspires anybody who is thinking about going natural to go natural and anybody who's already gone natural to stay natural because the longer you're natural that like okay there are some people that are natural and like don't try to learn about their hair not being natural is never going to come easy to you because you're not putting in the time to learn your hair and learn the products that it likes and learn you know how to grow your hair like so if you do take the time to just listen to your hair your hair will grow and the more you know, the more you grow. No, seriously. So, I hope you enjoyed this mini mature, <laughs> this mini little hair journey. So yeah, I do think that the longer you stay natural and the more intentional you are about learning about your hair and learning what works for your hair, the more you'll enjoy being natural because your hair will flourish. So, be patient and be kind to your hair. Because comment how long you've been natural in the comments 20 plus years with, with a lot of struggle in between but 20 plus years I hope even though this video wasn't anything you know too specific about something you can do to your hair I hope you still enjoyed it like comment and subscribe to my channel 
I got a bond in once and girl, never again. Never again. My hair was so itchy. So itchy. I was patting my head for dear life. The glue got stuck to my hair. Worst thing ever.